Good afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Casey Johnson and I will be your moderator for today's webinar, which is today's uh, Ideal Manufacturing Distribution Wholesale and Retail Solutions, uh, focused on the Unleashed Inventory Management System. Uh, our presenters today are Greg Murphy of Unleashed and Rick Armstrong, CPA and owner of QB Pro Consulting. A um, few housekeeping items before we get started. We really want this to be an interactive webinar, so please make sure that you post any questions that you may have to the GoToWebinar toolbar. We'll make sure to get to those um, as we go through, and we'll definitely have a Q&A section at the end. So to introduce you to who your presenters are, first Greg Murphy, he is the founder of Unleash Software, the leader of the Unleash team. He is passionate about solving the problems faced by businesses and he works closely with the product design and development teams to ensure that tomorrow's Unleashed reflects all of the feedback and thoughts that their customers share today. Uh, and he has a really cool accent, so he'll keep this vibrant and, and moving. Uh, Rick Armstrong, who is a CPA and business consultant, is the CEO and founder of QB Pro Consulting. He's an advanced certified QuickBooks Pro Advisor and experienced cloud consultant assisting contractors as well as uh, other manufacturing and industry uh, businesses with cloud implementation. He also runs an outsourced controller and CFO services and specializes in controllership staff for uh, different contracting and manufacturing industries. So first, I'm going to turn it over to Rick. Welcome, Rick. Thanks, Casey. Hello, everybody. Um, thanks for coming. Uh, I appreciate the opportunity to speak to you today and to present uh, Unleashed Software with Greg. I know you'll find it um, uh, interesting and uh, informative. So now with my screen, where is my PowerPoint? Okay. So with my uh, screen here, let me start my conversation talking about QuickBooks. Uh, QuickBooks today, and where QuickBooks and Intuit are moving to, is what's called QuickBooks Online. Many of you have heard of it. Many of you may even be on that software, or perhaps you're still on desktop software and wondering if I should move to the cloud. The advantage, one of the biggest advantages of QuickBooks Online and, and all the online applications, including Unleashed, is that once you load these up into, the, into, your, uh, into your device, you're able to access them from any device, so you're not limited to your desktop, Windows desktop, or Mac desktop anymore. You can access your accounting now from, uh, for example, the iPad, as you can see here, or from your phones, whether they're Android or I iPhones. And you can do amazing amounts of mobile work now that you could never have done before. QuickBooks is definitely, uh, this is their focus, um, and let me show you another couple slides here. Uh, one of the things that's going on in the industry, the accounting industry as a whole, is that we're seeing a large increase in online users. So this represents the number of online users that have uh, changed from 2012 to 2016, and you'll see it's a 50% increase in online users, while the desktop users has actually shrunk. So these companies like Intuit, Zero. Uh, Unleashed, these companies realize that the future is online and that's what they're building their platform to be on. So whether you're on desktop or whether you're thinking about going online, I can just tell you that going online is your future and you might as well start now. Another presentation I'd like to show is Intuit's um, revenue growth and their projected revenue growth and their source of revenues. And what they're seeing is in the blue line, you're seeing that's their desktop revenues, and you can see that they, from a high in 14 of 74%, now it's projected to be only 50% of their business, while their, the green line, the online services, is growing uh, you know, geometrically uh, every year and is projected to just dominate desktop in the next three years. So again, I'm reinforcing the fact that moving online is very important. Um, another slide I'd like to show, um, or I'd like to actually talk about right now is is what we do at QB Pro. We're dedicated to helping small businesses select, implement, and then provide ongoing support for new technologies, for existing accounting technologies, for workflow. Um, I just went to a, a webinar in a, a conference in, in Las Vegas, and in the conference at the last keynote address, the name of the address was actually Rise of the Machines. 
And a gentleman named Joe Woodard, who's very well known in the QuickBooks ecosystem, presented the fact that right now, in today's world, we are expecting that 80% of bookkeeping uh, workflows should be machine-driven as opposed to human input. On top of that, we're expecting that in the next three years, 90% of bookkeeping will be done by the machines as opposed to manual input. So we're seeing a tr this, this ability to go online and use these large databases and, and large apps and allowing these companies like Intuit to, uh, to learn about their customers, how things work, are only going to make accounting and bookkeeping easier and easier to do. So we, our, our, our business uh, engagement strategy is basically to sit down with our customers and say, let's have a conversation. Why don't we sit down, let's talk for 15 minutes or so and see where you're at, where your pain points are, where you want to go, what you think your platform should be. Um, and then let's just see if we have a commonality there where we can help you pick out and, and select a, a platform that will support you now and into the future uh, as you grow your business. Uh, after we do a, after we get past that conversation, then we go into a needs analysis and we do a deeper dive into your company and see what you're doing and what kind of functionalities you require. And then we'll put together a solution uh, proposal of the apps uh, in conjunction with QuickBooks Online to meet your needs. Once we establish that uh, that solution, and that's and establish, establishing the solution uh, could require some testing and some trial and error to see that it fits your needs. So it's not like you have to jump in and um, accept the solution as it's proposed, but rather we, let's find out what really works for your business, your staffing, and your uh, requirements. Finally, once you select. Uh, you know, once you decide on your solution, we can help you with implementing that solution. And in today's world, that means let me get rid of that thing there. That means that we're able to work with our technology partners like Unleashed, like Intuit, and like a variety of other tech companies to put together and make sure that we get this implementation done smoothly and easily for your. I hope everything's working. Right. Um, for your company. Uh, finally, after the implementation is completed, we can provide ongoing support and we, we want to provide ongoing support for your business and that we want to make sure we have a personal relationship with your company, whether you just need tech support, whether you just need some accounting support, whether you need outsourced accounting solution, we can provide all of those uh, resources for you and we, we'd be happy to do that. A little bit about uh, our company, pretty much about me, is that I'm a CPA. I've been a CPA for many years. And I've actually evolved from the days of the first PC and into today's new cloud-based technologies. Uh, we started out in the business as outsourced uh, accountants, going to companies and helping them get their accounting done each month without having to hire. And we've slowly rolled through the process of um, the PC coming out and introducing the PC into companies, uh, then rolling into local area networking and using local area networking, which uh, many of you are still using. Uh, then the, the, uh, the, the next thing that really happened was the, internet, int the internet came online and companies like Cloud9 real time were able to offer a hosting solution. So there are many hosting solution providers out there that allow you to take your desktop software and host it in a cloud data center where you can get a lot of the features of a online application from an access standpoint but not necessarily all the, uh, the wonderful uh, features of online software applications. Then finally, uh, we, uh, we, early, we were early adopters in the QuickBooks world. We became QuickBooks advanced, uh, advanced providers for the desktop product in 2004. In 2015, we became dedicated to QuickBooks Online, and we are advanced certified with QuickBooks Online. So our, our primary business focus right now is to work with companies on software as a service type of technologies as a primary mission. We will still support, obviously, desktop software, but our, our mission really is to move you into the cloud. Okay, so talking about, uh, talking about the cloud, this is a picture from the show. This is a picture from our uh, recent show in Las Vegas where somebody put together a a demonstration of the number of applications that are now out there in the world to select from. And you can see just under accounting software solutions, Intuit's just one of dozens of solutions. 
Then you've got all the categories of business, such as business intelligence, practice management, payroll, and each one of these categories has dozens of applications coming online by companies that think they've got a solution to meet a particular need. And a lot of these companies are great. However, in, in, in your case as a business owner, how would you go about selecting the right solutions for your business? And this is where we come into play in helping you identify what your needs are and then selecting the, the proper and the best applications for your business. So we, we are partnered with basically dozens of companies in their particular um, field of effort that we know are the industry leaders, they've been around and they can do the job. Uh, Unleashed is certainly one of those companies in that they are well established overseas, they've been around for, for years, they are very involved with uh, a um, collaboration with a product called Zero, which is a, a product that does a similar application to QuickBooks Online overseas out of, uh, out of New Zealand. So now the new now Unleashed is coming to the United States and they're partnering with Intuit as their uh, core product and that's what they're going to be presenting today. In addition though, however, I want to remind you that in addition to in a relationship with QuickBooks Online and a product like Unleashed, you may have other apps that you want to bring into play, maybe applications that you use for bill paying, uh, maybe applications you use for CRM, maybe applications you use for a variety of other company functionalities that you need that will help again reach that automation point that we're all moving towards 90% automation. The other part of the uh, picture that you're going to be looking for is, is going paperless, so eliminating paper from your world and we want to look to do that. The average, my understanding and from the company presentations in the past is they say a piece of paper that comes into a company by the time it goes from its first receiving from the mail room to the time it's finally filed away in a box in a storage facility, each piece of paper has almost got one hour of admin time involved with that movement. So if we can eliminate that one hour of time per piece of paper, you can only imagine the savings and improvements in, uh, in efficiencies in your company to make it all work better. Okay. These are examples, this is an example of some of the products that we support and that we believe uh, could fit into a, a typical uh, future um, platform for a company. So we've got Intuit used as the core product. Intuit is the general ledger, financial reporting, uh, accounts receivable, accounts payable product for your business. But in this case with, let's say, Unleashed, we, we've got an inventory solution that far exceeds anything you would see from a, from a QuickBooks desktop products, QuickBooks Online. It is a total management solution where you'll find your, your employees, your, your operations group will stay in Unleashed doing their work while all the data is feeding into QuickBooks for your accounting group or your outsourced accounting group to manage your financial affairs. So it's a real slick way to uh, separate operations from accounting. Uh, some of these other products real quickly. Revel is a point of sale system that is online and well regarded. Gusto is a great payroll system that uh, is nationwide. Cloud9 is a hosting company if you're still on desktop. So uh, that's, that's probably a product that's going to go away in the future when you move to the cloud, but right now they're, it's actively being used. CRM, we recommend on Sightly. Um, you can also use Salesforce and a number of other products. Noify is a construction product, product to manage your company. This is another product which you wouldn't use with inventory with an inventory company, but in a construction environment, a project management environment, this takes the operation uh, uh, load off and again integrates with the accounting solution. And then Bill.com is a is a great cash tool for paying your bills without having to uh, physically write checks. It, it's totally integrated with QuickBooks, and it's a uh, it's an unbelievable application for managing cash flow. Okay, so uh, getting back again to QuickBooks uh, uh, Online, this is the product that we highly recommend that you, you move to as soon as possible. We, we are more than happy to uh, demo it for you and show you all the attributes of the software. So if you're currently using QuickBooks Online, we'd be more than happy to help you uh, implement it properly if you're having problems with that uh, functionality. Okay. 
So getting back to, again, the subject of bookkeeping. I told you that 90% of bookkeeping will be done automatically by machines. So we're eliminating the, pro the process of data entry with QuickBooks Online. You have what's called bank feeds, the, the, the transactions happening within your, uh, your bank account or your credit card account are automatically brought into QuickBooks without having to enter that information. You, uh, there's a process going with Intuit and a number of other application companies that is called machine learning. So because these companies are now managing your data as well as the application on their systems, they're learning not only about your business, but they're learning about the, all the customers in their system and be, the machines are beginning to understand how things get coded. I hate to say we're getting displaced by the machines, but let's just say they are taking over a lot of the mundane uh, functionalities within the accounting uh, function that uh, we really don't need to do because machines can learn it and do it for you. No more backups, so you're, you eliminated the entire IT load off your company. No more having to have an IT uh, staff, IT consultant online. The application companies are managing your data in these extremely high-level data centers, which maybe uh, Greg probably will uh, be able to demonstrate and talk about with his company. Paperless, so all these, all these companies offer a, a document management solution where documents get attached to the transactions, and you don't need to ever look up that piece of paper again. Amen to that. Um, so anyway, you have less to do on your to-do list. Your financial reports can be scheduled to come to you automatically. More importantly, you can always go in as a manager and deep dive into your uh, data directly by drilling down through reports straight to the source transactions. There's no reason why a manager or an owner of a company cannot figure out or find out what's going on at any time in their business using uh, the on online solutions. And they can do it from their desktop, and again, they can do it from their handheld if they'd like to, so they don't have to be uh, in their office to, to uh, overview what's going on in their company. And less stress. So less stress. That I guess the QB Pro Consulting is here to assist you again, and that's um, and that's what we'd love to do. Okay. Again, finally, just uh, you know, any anywhere, anytime, access. You can send out your finance, and you send out all your invoices now electronically, which is great. You receive your bills electronically. Um, so everything is coming through and, and feeding into your accounting system automatically. Um, you know you're gonna you're gonna have some uh, some accounting requirements like reconciliations of bank accounts, but you'll be very surprised and very happy to learn how much of this is automated, how easy and how accurate it is to uh, to use. Now on a cost side, QuickBooks Online is uh, is normally forty dollars a month, and you get five users with full functionality of some of their software. An amazing cost. If you sign up with, if you sign up through QuickBooks uh, QB Pro Consulting and, and become a client of ours, we can offer that same uh, opportunity for twenty dollars a month. So you get a fifty percent savings on QuickBooks. Okay, so um, another picture of an integration opportunity is the fact that Unleashed provides data into QuickBooks Online. QuickBooks Online can push data out to another app. It can also go the other way. So Bill.com could be feeding data back into QuickBooks Online, and QuickBooks Online is feeding data up to Unleash. So there's there's syncing going on both ways between these applications. Again, reducing workload and improving uh, improving information and lack of you know um, eliminating data entry. Okay, so moving down the list here. One of the products that uh, we do really recommend is Gusto Payroll. So just, I guess this is a side advertisement for Gusto, but Gusto is an example of a great product that will, uh, that can handle your payrolls nationwide, um, simple to use, highly powerful, fully integrated with QuickBooks Online. And finally, as part of our presentation here, we have a discussion about our client care programs. Again, what I'm trying, what, once we've established a platform that is virtually 80% automated, your need for ongoing support in the area of bookkeeping and data updates to your accounting system is really becoming less and less of an issue. Rather, what you're looking for is a company that can, can make sure that this new, this new um, platform of applications is working properly and you can be sure that somebody's making sure the data is getting 
that is getting done uh, timely. So companies like Quick, companies like QB Pro Consulting now, we've become more of a data manager than we are a controller. We're making sure everybody, all the systems are updating properly or feeding into the apps properly. Um, part of these, part of that, uh, that discussion is that we will be able to provide real-time accurate data, and then we can layer on a number of business intelligence uh, products like uh, like Spotlight or QVinci that can take that basic accounting data that's, that's being developed in your, in your QuickBooks Online and your different apps, and then do presentations that are automated to your, to your, um, to your inbox, to your email. So we can send out automatically financial reports and analytics to you, real, you know, very timely, like at the end of the month within, uh, within two days. So your, your, your thinking now is, I don't need a controller. What I really need is someone to put my system together, make sure my staff understands it, make sure we're running it right, and be there for me as we, uh, as we evolve our company into these, this new platform. OK, now if there's any questions that you might have about our services and about this whole cloud transition, uh, we do have a chat box on the um, on the webinar here, please feel free to use that and ask and, and load up questions at the end of the webinar. At the end of uh, Greg's presentation on Unleashed, we'll be happy to go over those questions and answer any questions that you have. So with that, um, I do want to introduce um, Greg Murphy. I'm a half Murphy, so we're kind of like brothers. Although he's in Auckland, New Zealand, I'm here in uh, California. Greg is the founder of Unleashed and is extremely dedicated to his product. Um, I really enjoy working with him and uh, look forward to becoming a, a strong implementation partner for his company. So with that, Greg, I'm going to pass the baton to you. Uh, thank you, Rick. Um, I found that very, uh, very engaging. But um, just to confirm before I make a fool out of myself, can you hear me okay and, uh, and see that screen with Unleashed in the middle of it and mouse moving, etc.? Yeah, look great. All good. Yep. Awesome. Cool. Welcome along, guys, and uh, thanks for the quip at the beginning there, Casey, on my accent. Uh, you guys sound funny to me as well, so why don't we just call it even? So, as uh, Rick said, uh, I am based down in Auckland, New Zealand. That's where uh, Unleash was born from about seven years ago. Uh, yes, we were born out of here alongside Zero, which is another accounting product. Um, but I was actually just trying to remember when the Intuit relationship started, and um, it's actually been a few years ago. They uh, they heard that uh, we were up in San Fran for a, a zero uh, um, event, um, and basically knocked on our door, limited us down to the campus uh, in San Fran, and three months later we had an integration being built. And that was primarily because even back then, we know they see the need for, uh, I guess, the add-ons um, that can be built in and around um, QBO. So it's been a long, t a long relationship, um, and I suppose just to give you some numbers there, um, since then about 15% of our clients are now in the US, and it's one of our biggest growth markets, um, especially because, as you see as we go through today, you know, we've got some cool features which have come out over time as we've evolved, um, things like batch and serial control, and now food and bev manufacturing especially is, is kind of going off. So look, I'm not sure on the, uh, the, the businesses you guys have, but uh, we can do a Q&A at the end and around fit, but uh, you know, by way of introduction again, I'm Greg, the founder, and I'll take you through a bit of what we do today. So this slide I talk to a lot, I mean before even clicking around uh, in Unleashed, um, it's worth understanding what we're trying to achieve, you know, and we wanted, and this is from, yeah, again, six years ago, you know, effectively business owners to be sitting in Hawaii on iPads, seeing real-time data they trust, and that mentality flows through all our features and our workflows. Um, as well, um, because the first thing we decided we needed to be was a perpetual system. And what I mean by that is we're not periodic, there's no month ends, you enter a sale today, it's today's sale, etc. because that gives us the real-time data. And I'll show you an example of that, because we know that if people are looking at that, they can make better decisions quicker. Um, we are born, uh, I guess, on the back of a business-to-business -business trading model, and we also knew that to control stock accurately, it's just ins and outs. It's very simple, uh, in essence, albeit there are a lot of processes that can come into play. And if you look at this diagram, one of the first things to notice is that we fit in front of an accounting system. So yes, in QBO, we, we kind of become the master system. We, we are uh, the, the system where you do all of your transactions for purchases and sales, and in real time upon completion, we, we pass them through back to QBO to ensure that the accounting side is looked after as well. 
So just if we look at the four workflows here, again, which is important to understand, usually at the beginning, we want to get stock in. So we facilitate purchases. Um, we can send them off to suppliers and things like that. Um, during that process, we can convert foreign currency acquisitions into your own currency, add additional costs like freight or duty, basically any cost associated with acquiring your asset, we put into the stock value. So at the end of that process, you can receive quantities into your business of stock, but you can, we also know the value of what that stock owes you, which is very important later on for things like margin reporting. But again, in real time, as soon as we do a receipt, that passes a draft payable through to QBO, which you can pay and reconcile against, and that is all coded to the balance sheet. So the idea is, as soon as that's approved, up goes your asset account. Um, so the, you know, if you have $100,000 worth of stock in Unleash, you'll have the same sitting in your balance sheet. So we perpetually maintain that as well. If we cast our eyes over to the right, we wanted people to be able to manage stock prior to selling. And over the years, there's been many features put in. I mean, starting off with things like multi-warehouse and stock takes, I guess some of the normal stuff. But you know, we've now got things like assembly and disassembly, which you can do costings on for labor. Um, again, we have the batch and serial control. There's quite a bit in there now, um, and there's more to go. And as we're saying as well, that you know, Unleashed is not complete. There's about 500 features or enhancements we have that have been voted for that we want to get into the software. And that's one cool thing about cloud software, is that what you get today were usually improves by tomorrow. Um, it's an ongoing thing, as all of these applications want to get better and better. But down below, we have the sales, and that's the outs, okay? And that's about, what, 80% of the transactions in Unleashed are sales. Again, we put in some cool features there around back ordering, send half now, half later, you know, pick lists down to the warehouse, etc. But the same deal applies. If I complete a transaction or a sale in Unleashed, that's gonna send a receivable through to QBO so it knows your income, you know, coded to various income accounts, if you like. But we also send through journals through uh, in real time as well. Um, the idea is, and the, you know, the example of a sale is that, yes, it gives you your income, but what that journal will do is reduce your balance sheet by the value of stock which went out the door, uh, pass it over to your expense account so you get real-time profit showing in your P&L. Okay, so we care about your management reports, albeit we sit in front of the solution. So again, in summary, you know, we're an on online inventory system, yes, but all we're about is real-time transactions um, that provide accuracy and therefore better decisions. And I still cast my mind back to Hawaii and the iPad. I have actually done that, by the way. I have sat on the beach in Hawaii and looking at Unleashed. Um, it can be done. Okay, don't forget, if you do have questions as I go through, just put them uh, into the, the chat box. Because what I want to do next is I'm going to pop open a browser and really just quickly go through these workflows uh, within Unleashed. Okay. So what I'm looking at here is just a demo environment of Unleashed. This is a dashboard. Now, even before I go into the transactions, I can look at anyone's Unleashed dashboard and see how they're doing. Again, let's just pretend I am in Hawaii looking at this. Um, top left, and yeah, there's some pretty pictures, but look, I've made $2 million in the last year at 98% margin. I could sit there and think, wow, that's amazing. Look at me go. But down below, I can also see some alerts uh, based on the transactions that are flowing through Unleashed. I can see I've got some expired quotes, 31 sales that are late, 50 late purchases, and I'm low on some stock, etc. And I trust this data, so um, my you know, temper is starting to rise while I'm sitting on the beach because this is not okay. Down below, even with some base metrics here, yeah, there's the value of my stock, but look at this. It takes me nearly three years to sell my stock. That is not okay. Instantly, I'm thinking my business is in trouble. I have batch expiry, um, or sorry, expiry type products. I've got 95 expired batches. That's a big write-off waiting to happen. All of a sudden, even though initially I was happy, now I'm not, and I can start clicking into these, you know, and, and get stuck into the processes with the people that should be doing it. Okay, all of a dashboard, all within 30 seconds. But again, cast your mind back to the slide, because what I want to do now is go through that first piece of how we acquire stock. So um, in Unleashed, we've actually worked our user interface quite nicely. You can see here up top, I can get stock in, I can manage it, I can get it out. So before I focus on the purchases, we do have a lot of reports. I won't be able to go into them all today, but if I just open up a, a reorder report, this is basically helping me preempt my ordering by looking at low stock levels um, versus minimum stock, which I've set up. Okay, so you can see as an example, look at this, I've got some black suits here. I've set my minimum stock at zero. Um, however, I've got two open sales. And that gives me a negative allocation. 
which is what tells me, hey, I'm low. Now I can sort this by various suppliers and instantly raise, raise purchase orders by clicking the reorder button there. So it's not forecasting per se, that is something we'll be looking at, but you can see it does give me a clear window to ensure I don't run out of stock. What I will do today is just go and um, manually create a purchase order. All right, I can buy in foreign currency. You'll have to forgive me, my demo is in New Zealand dollars, but just put your US dollar hats on. You can see every transaction we create gets a unique number, so we are an auditable system. And I know there is terminology involved, but you know this is now a parked order. Some people call that saved or draft. It really is just the beginning of the process for me wanting to get stock in the door. There's a number of header fields. I won't go into all those today. Probably the key thing to note here is that it is, well, in New Zealand, it's the 1st of the 12th. Happy December uh, for tomorrow, you guys. Um, but I can also say when I need it in my position buy, and that's what tells me if this order is late coming in. Now down below, I can just enter in a couple of products, just quickly. Right, so there's a two-line purchase order. I can see some cool stuff showing through here. I put in the, my, the size of my stock, so I can see if I'm packing out a container. I can see I'm buying in Australian dollars, converting to New Zealand with terms, etc. And I'll say I'm happy with this purchase order. I'm, I want to get it underway. So to do that, I can go ahead and place it. You can see it's updated the status. That represents with the supplier. Normally what people do is just email that off to their supplier straight from Unleashed, and I've now created a purchase and sent it to my supplier. Now they could come back to me and say, hey, you know, we'd, uh, you got the, the values wrong or we don't have the stock on hand, so I can see here all my open purchases. I can drill into them if I want to and amend them. But let's just for this example, we'll skip ahead maybe two weeks. Uh, the supplier said it's okay and sent me the stock and the stock could be at the port or even in my position. But I can see here I have another step I can do, which is adding purchase costs. And this is really powerful for importers, etc. You can see here if I just bring up my purchase order number 152, I can update exchange rates, we won't go into that so much today, but down below I have a cost line section, and this is where I can start applying additional costs, because it could just be that maybe Bash incorporated the supplier, picked up the international freight, uh, and charged me. Typo there. Okay, so as soon as I start applying these costs, you can see down below, what that's doing is adding uh, the cost, converting it to my currency, and up top now, it's reworking a landed cost by weighting the new value uh, into the stock based on its original value. So you can see this top line here did owe me $132. It's now picked up nearly $650 worth of freight, and I now have a new landed cost, which again is very important to us uh, for accurate reporting later on. But I can do that again. If I want, it could just be that there's a local freight supplier also that charged me another thousand dollars, local dollars, and maybe that was for uh, local freight to get the container into my warehouse. So I can repeat this step as many times as I like to as many different suppliers as I like, just to ensure my landed cost is 100% accurate. Once I'm happy, I can go ahead and complete my costing. It updates my status, and that brings us to the last step, which is the receipt. So, of course, there's people and processes involved, it's been put away, it's been checked. So, to get it into Unleash so I can sell it, I can bring it up, I can put in invoice details, because we, we, you should have invoices by now, and pass that through to QBO. I can see uh, my second product here, these biscuit tins are batch controlled, so I must enter a batch and expiry date um, to ensure I know uh, I can track it. That's really powerful, by the way especially for those manufacturers, because we can track what batch went to uh, what customer on the sales side, you know, and if Johnny finds some glass in his yogurt, uh, it means we can track that batch and do recall type processes, um, which is very, very handy in the food and bev industry. Anyway, I digress. Um, I'm, I could say I'm happy, I want to get the stock in now, we can do things like split receipts, but I'll just um, move it along. As soon as I hit that button, this stock is now available for me to sell, it updates the average cost of the product so I can track its margin, and effectively we have now got our stock in Unleashed. Now instantly, that is going to pass some payables through to QBO, one for the supplier uh, in foreign currency, and the other for the costing I did for local freight. Okay, again, those transactions are coded to the balance sheet, there is no inbound freight account, and we now have stock in Unleashed, and the stock position is reflected accurately um, in QBO, and you can pay and reconcile against those transactions we send. Okay, so what we've covered off there is the workflow of getting stock in. Now, if we move over onto the right, let's have a look at some of the things we can do to manage stock. Now, I won't have time to go into everything, but just at a high level, if I look under inventory here, we've got transactions to do value or uh, quantity adjustments, moving stock between warehouses, 
you know, freezing your stock to do stock counts, whether it be just checks or uh, um, annual counts. We can revalue your stock as well in one instant hit. Okay, so there's a lot of power sitting right there. But what I'll focus on, um, I guess, is just the assembly piece. You can see here I have a production menu. And just to get that going, again, I don't know the industries you're in, but we uh, capture bills of material, which looks something like this. I have a cookbook. Uh, in my example, I've, I can make about 10 different things here. And if I just drill into one of them, you can see all we're trying to capture here is what are you trying to make and what do you need to make it, which will be the component quantities. And we can do wastage as well. But you can see here that power that's you know, starting to flow through from how we receded that stock. I know to the cent what it's going to cost me to make some of these finished products based on the component value, which is really cool. So if bills of material are set up, we can do an assembly, which is the transaction. I'll just quickly fly through one today. Um, you can see here I want to make stock in my main warehouse. Um, I can tell I want to make some of these animals. Okay, and the first thing it's going to say is, well, how many can you make based on the components you have on hand? I'll, I'll say I just want to make five today. And as soon as I update that, that, uh, that quantity, it can see um, what it needs based on the bill of material uh, to go ahead and complete this build. Now, depending on processes, normally you go away and do the build and come back, and it could just be like today, the people in the warehouse did a great job. They didn't break these five wastage candy apple treats here. In fact, they broke none. So by updating that, I can see the average cost of the finished goods is going to be nice and tidy. Okay, so pretty important because that's what we want to protect. Um, we also have uh, the option, similar to what we did on the purchasing side, to add additional costs. So if you've outsourced maybe the bottling of your wine or something like that, we can add those costs into the value of the, the stock, just like we did before. You can add that, and you can now see the cost of my stock is going up. Okay, and if I complete this right now, that will remove the components in Unleashed and bring in the finished goods, update the average cost, and in this case, it's going to send a payable through for Aurora Trading to QBO for me to pay and reconcile, which will also ensure my balance sheet is nice and tidy. Okay, we can do things like disassemblies as well, you know, break out, um, you know, finished goods back into components. We can even do auto assemblies and auto disassemblies. I can explain more if you want on that, maybe through Q&A. Um, but there's, you know, a lot more features we want to put in there. But for now, you can see we take care of the base transaction quite well. Now, moving on, let's get to the exciting part because, of course, we want to sell our stock too. So we do quotes if you do have a pre-sales activity. But if I just move down, I'll just go and show you what a fairly standard order looks like. You can see, similar to the purchase side, we have header fields and just line fields down the bottom. Uh, I'll just bring up a customer here. And you can cast your eyes through some of the fields that we capture. Again, a nice unique number there, a status to help me drive it through my process. You know, we can put in references for, you know, purchase order numbers if your customers are good enough to supply them. Discounts and tax. I can tell it how I want to go out the door. Um, we can do multiple delivery addresses as well uh, if you've got clients that uh, you know have outlets all over the place. We can even track uh, commission type reports uh, by salesperson if that's what you need. Um, in my case also, I want to track maybe that this has come from a radio campaign to see how profitable that was. And you can see we've got our order dates there as well. And maybe I'll just say I want to get it out the door by tomorrow. So quite a bit we captured there. And you'll see in the last section I'll go through uh, the visibility this all provides us as business owners is fantastic. So down below, I'll enter in, uh, maybe I'll sell one of these animals. Um, we do have things like pack size. You can see here it's given me a warning. Uh, normally you should be selling this in lots of 12. Um, I've been a bit naughty there and sold it in a lot of 11, so I'll just change that. Picks up the sell price. So we have multiple um, sell price options when it comes to you know, how you want to work with your clients. But one of the things I love here is that down below, I know even now before I complete the order, what I'm about to make, this is a bit of a disaster actually, 1.73% margin, that is terrible. But it gives me the option to do something about it. I know I can trust that number because of the hard work we did before when it comes to acquiring our stock. Um, we can also add in things like, you know, my time as a charge, so it doesn't, it's not all about stock, maybe $100 -odd there, and even code that to a different income account if I want to, depending on how the chart of accounts is set up. All right, but that's, a, that's an order. Now, I actually have lots of options here, depending on my workflow. I can just complete this, and it's done. Or I can go ahead and invoice some of it now. I can create what we call a shipment, which is a transaction which goes down to the warehouse to get it out the door. 
Um, uh, yeah, so, and I can create as many of those as I like, um, as long as they don't exceed the quantities, etc., of the order. So I won't go into those today, just for time's sake, but there's a lot of power there. We can create purchase orders straight from here, but I'll go ahead and just complete that order. Um, it does produce various amounts of documentation. If you want to send out invoices or ship notes, we do have a document designer to make them look happy, but I've just made some money there. Now, as soon as I hit complete, again, that's going to send the draft receivable through to QBO uh, for you to get paid and reconcile, and it's also sent to journal, um, as I mentioned before, to ensure that your balance sheet and your expense accounts are accurate to give you that real-time profit. Now, one thing I love from doing all of this is that that's the basic ins and outs, which we uh, covered off. Okay, um, uh, so we got stock in, we managed it, and we got it out the door, albeit very simply. And so even outside of the dashboard, you can see here I can pop open probably my favorite inquiry, the margin inquiry. And this is very powerful. By default, this can show me my income by sales line for the last month. I can see down the bottom here. You know, like that run, oh, all my stuff's non-stop. I can see on the right that, uh, you know, the margin, I can go and click in to say this order, what happened, 6%, that's not cool. But up above, I can also start cross-filtering it. What did I make in my main warehouse that I sold to the retail sector uh, of toys, maybe that been sold? And I can run that as an inquiry, okay? So we can heavily filter the data that we start getting through. But also, um, if I just run that again, you can see all of our inquiries we can customize. Okay, so if I don't care about who the salesperson is, but I really care about maybe that sales order group, I can click and drag to my heart's content. If I want to see what that radio campaign made me, I can just pivot within the grid. Okay, so it says, oh, it's not too bad, $27,000. Okay, but I can also save this as a template. So all of our layouts can be templated, and I can have a default uh, by Greg. So whenever I log on, it's what I see. So in essence, you know, the 30-odd inquiries we have are all customizable report writers by user, which you can also export as well if you want to go and play with that data uh, in CSV format. So very, very powerful, and I'm happy to say also there's a lot more to come when it comes to features and enhancements. But as far as the demo goes today, the main thing I wanted you to understand is what we're all about when it comes to accuracy and transparency, and just to give you a heads up on the workflows we try and work to. And this is just one example. You know, we do have other applications clipped into us, which Rick alluded to before. Um, I think we have about 50 add-ons who clip into us. We obviously clip into QBO. Um, and there's a lot of native integrations which we've built as well around e-commerce options and even point of sale. Okay, so look, the component world is building. It's very exciting. It's not just one or two components. You know, we're seeing uh, app, uh, solutions built now with six or seven online components, which is very exciting. It's, you know, it's customizable. It's relatively cheap in the big scheme of things. But I guess just to make a point on, you know, someone like QB Pro is that you need them because you can't generally go and create or even scope out those solutions yourself. Um, it is a skill set, and it's hard to know when you're looking at the thousands what will work, and that's why we're really, really happy to have partners like Rick on board, uh, because we know he represents a service which is only becoming more of a commodity around the world, and the U.S. is really just starting to get stuck into this, um, which is exciting to see. So just coming back to the slides. Okay, so it's just a bit of a backup here uh, in case you want this slide deck. Okay, I've explained this all quite a lot, but you can see down below there uh, that we know businesses struggle. You know, generally what we see is a lot of spreadsheets being superseded. Now, spreadsheets can be cool, but they're generally a liability in a business because that data is not centralized. Um, you know, so having someone like Rick again come in and help with that, Usually the uh, owners of those spreadsheets are very proud of them, so you annoy them with stuff like this, but this is kind of future uh, software, uh, and it's how you improve yourself ongoing. Okay, now Unleashed, yes, it is easy to use. There are workflows there, but it's also quite complicated. Uh, I know that kind of sounds like a contradiction. In my time, I've run six-hour training sessions on how to use Unleashed. Um, it doesn't, shouldn't normally take that long, but there's so many nuances in businesses. You know, how do they, you know, how do they work their foreign currency? What happens if stock arrives and they don't have invoices? Again, this is why you need someone like Rick, uh, because going through not just software, but the people and processes side, which is generally always half of a business solution, uh, is really important. So yes, we have features. Yes, there's more. Yes, we can take care of the ins and outs of your stock. Um, but there is always more to learn. Uh, it's, I must admit, it's been quite an exciting journey. I've been doing this six, six and a half years, and there's no way I'd ever claim to know everything. 
I guess the key piece again is knowing where you stand, the key is in real time. That, that concept of the difference between periodic and perpetual uh, is really important to understand. It does come along again with some processes to lock it down, for instance, in Unleashed, if you make a mistake on a sale, you can't just go and you know, backdate a change last month or anything like that because that means you're inaccurate. To fix it, you do a credit. Okay, so the real-time thing is a big deal. The processes involved are quite important and can be seen laborious, but if you want accuracy in your business, that's when you use something like Unleashed. Okay, there are a few, uh, many other features which I didn't show you. Um, you know, this slide represents the fact that, hey, uh, during setup, we can customize uh, by screen who, what users can see what. Okay, so uh, we have, I don't know, I think about 200 screens. You can choose to lock and unlock any of those by user just to ensure that, uh, you know, the people in your business are only seeing and doing things that you want them to do and see. Okay, man, I feel like I ranted and spilled for a good 20 minutes there, but I guess we've reached the end of my content. Um, at this stage, I might just hand back over to uh, Casey, uh, and we're happy to start fielding questions. Excellent. Thank you guys both so much. So informative. And we do have some different questions popping in. I would like to encourage all of the attendees to post your questions for either Greg or Rick on um not only inventory, but cloud technologies, your accounting software, uh, any kind of overwhelming um, questions that you may have, because as we saw from that ecosystem, it is quite robust and putting together all of the different systems for your business management um, can be difficult. So first question. So what if we are committed to a different accounting software package such as Xero or QuickBooks Desktop, et cetera? How much less integration of Unleashed exists for these? Um, I can answer that if you want me to, Rick. Please. Yep, okay, so basically the integration between QBO and Xero is exactly the same, okay? So depending on that uh, commitment, I mean, QB Desktop, we don't integrate with anything that's uh, not online, okay? So that is one of the catalysts to change it. It really is a decision. Um, you know, I don't know what you're paying for these. Uh, I guess to try and answer that question directly, it is just the same um, for, for Xero and QBO, and we don't integrate with offline. Um, yeah, I think I've answered that. I'm sorry, but Derek, please let us know if I haven't uh, given you what you needed there. Yeah, let yeah. me jump into it real quick and, and just discuss the uh, the different software platforms. So you talked about Zero. Zero is a great platform, and you can certainly uh, continue with Zero. And we are actually going to move into a consulting relationship with Zero as well as QBO. The other side is on the desktop side. I am finding companies have a certain amount of uh, misunderstanding about the power of QBO as opposed to QuickBooks Desktop, whether it's uh, Premier or Enterprise. And I think you'll be pleasantly uh, surprised to find out that if you're using a desktop solution, um, the conversion to QBO is is painless and very uh, very appropriate. It, um, I've done some larger companies off of, of uh, Enterprise into QBO, and they were quite happy to see that they could do their job more effectively in QBO than they could in the desktop product. Perfect, thank you. So th that was gonna be the next question is, what does the um, implementation or the move from desktop to online look like? How painful is that, um, the process? Uh, Next question kind of related. So Rick, you had mentioned hosting providers in Cloud9. If you host the desktop version in the cloud, can it then sync with an online, um, you know, unleashed product? Um, that's a good question. And um, the, the question is that you can certainly go to a, to a hosting uh, solution with desktop but the problem will, may occur that you won't be able to integrate and use these new, uh, a lot of these new applications. For example, uh, and I'll have Greg confirm this, but Unleashed does not, does not integrate with desktop. Is that correct, Greg? Um, yeah, that is correct. Uh, just the nuances of how data flows openly through the cloud, through APIs, is just, it, is just, it's a world apart from how it works with desktop type integrations. 
you know, and is making a good point here is that like, even if you put a desktop on a server, uh, it's not actually in the cloud. <laughs> well, it kind of is, but it's still a desktop application. You know, so it doesn't matter where it's hosted. Um, the, uh, categorically, you know, we don't integrate with offline products, and I think you'll find uh, not many of any of the hundreds of other cloud applications would look at doing that because the whole thing is based on the world moving to the cloud, which it is. Right. So that means that. You know, again, certain apps you can still use in a hosted desktop environment or in a desktop environment, but that list is not growing, it's shrinking, and the dozens and hundreds of new apps that are coming online are all working on the API with the uh, online products. Yep, that's correct. And, you know, for those that are holding on to the older desktop versions of QuickBooks, if you listen in on any of the Intuit um, calls that they have for their uh, shareholders. I mean, 99% of the talk is about online products. They're not putting R&D into desktop. So not only are you having limitations in applications that you can use that would sync with it, but also just in how much further they're going to develop that out, you'll see. So I, I think that um, the time to move to the cloud is really kind of just it's not more of oh sure we'll get to it one day it's, it's upon us and that's why uh, looking at types of solutions like these and partnering with consultants like Rick are, are so crucial at this point. Um, next question is about 2017. Uh, obviously a lot of people are closing out their fiscal year next uh, month and going into um, 2017 with new budgets and and new projects on the horizon. Any kind of tips that either of you want to recommend for the new year? Well, um, yeah, let me jump in here just on uh, overall accounting wise. You definitely want if you're going to move to to a quick to an online product, you may want to consider doing it in December because if you're going to move your payroll to an online uh, payroll product like Gusto. You, um, you want to get that in place in December for a launch in January so that you'll be on the right payroll solution for the year. Um, other apps besides payroll, um, you know, I think you want to fit the implementation of the move from desktop to online uh, around your workflow and your, maybe your seasonality, and you want to do this at a time when business perhaps is uh, at, a, at, a ebb, at a low ebb so that you... Uh, you know, you're not conflicted with high volume activity while you're trying to implement a new solution. Yeah, I think also just to add to that, uh, you know, over the years around the, the world, you know, we only see very small spikes in uptake around financial year ends because even though, yes, it could make sense to, to wait for that because it seems cleaner, you know, uh, people sign up for Unleash and do these things any day of any month, you know, dur during the year. It is very really just focused around a financial year end. And I suppose from the Unleashed side, that's because we're not a periodic system. We're perpetual, okay? So we don't present, you know, hey, it's a great idea, just wait for a few months in line with, you know, here it's March 31. Um, that just doesn't really seem to happen that much. It can be done at any time, and lots of people do it. Perfect. So if anybody has any final questions, please post those to the GoToWebinar toolbar at this time. Uh, we did record this session. It will be available online as well as the slides. If you have questions or would like information, the phone number is on the screen now, 866-304-4399, uh, and rick at qbproconsulting.com, or visit the website qbproconsulting.com to learn about uh, their consulting services to help you move to the cloud, as well as integrate uh, Unleashed into your business. I thank you both for your time and expertise. This was fantastic. Um, any final words, gentlemen? Um, I, I guess uh, just to jump in, my final word is, you know, our whole point and our whole uh, mission is to get uh, companies to contact us and have that first conversation about uh, exploring the opportunities. Uh, please do not hesitate to, to reach me at the our business phone number or my email, and I'd be more than happy to, to put together a plan for you or a discussion about where, what would be a good solution to move forward. Greg? Yeah, well, just on my side, I just say go the All Blacks, they're the best rugby team in the world. Um, <laughs> proud, very, very proud of our All Blacks, and I know they were just in the USA. Um, but, yeah, besides that, thank you guys for, for listening, and again, 
hit up Rick. He's a great man, and uh, we're proud to be working with him. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, everybody, and have a great day.